So uh, what we're gonna do is pass knots. Um, I'm gonna try and pass three knots in succession to show you uh, how to do it in the Texas system, how to do it in the rad system, and how to do it in the frog system. First rule of rope rescue is thou shall not plummet. <laughs> and uh, when we're passing knots, uh, we're gonna throw in, or I'm gonna throw in some other rules. I don't know whose rules they are, they could be my rules. Um, but one of those is, uh, is keep it tight. That means that everything from your ventral point here to like your forehead is precious real estate. And so you wanna size everything up and keep everything tight so that nothing gets away from you. Um, the next rule is you're gonna take something off, put something on before you take something off. Yeah, um, those are the two big ones. Um, so let's start uh, with the Texas. And again, this is not my setup, so I'm just kind of winging this arbitrarily. Let's just assume that I've already ascended um, and I'm approaching my first knot here. And so what I'm gonna do is as I approach, and again, as long as I limit uh, the max slack in my pair of ascenders, uh, they count as one point of connection, so long as that holds true. And of course I'm in the plumb line, so that's fine too. Um, so I wanna go, when I step up in my ascender and I, and I catch, I mean, I don't wanna show, make my progress all the way up to this point, because in order to take this off, I need to move up a little bit to disengage the teeth. And if I and if I move this all the way up to this point, I'm stuck. So I need a little bit of give, like an inch here. And so now I'm weighted on my ascender that I, um, that I capture my progress with, so through my lanyard. And I'm gonna step up on my foot stirrup. And as I step up, and I'm gonna use two feet for this. As I step up, move that, move it off, bring it up, and re-engage it kind of right here and, and sit back into it. Now I've passed that knot. Again, I've limited my uh, max free fall or my max slat to one foot or less. And I'm just gonna keep making my progress. This part's the easy part, right? I'm suspended on one full point of connection, not a half point, one full point. And bringing the foot stirrup is the easy part because I'm not suspended on that. And I step up, suck myself in and slide that after it up and sit back into it. Okay, I'm gonna install my uh, descender here for the rad system next. So I'm just gonna get a little bit higher. Okay, right there. Let's change this up. There we go, now I can take the slack off. All right, that's better. Knock that off. And I don't like these ascenders, so I'm gonna ditch them completely and I'm gonna use my own. So that whole thing, rock, drops, it's gone. I'm still waiting here. And I'll use my own setup. I'm gonna go right in here. So now that I'm on my ascenders, I'm gonna step up and pull through my descender, make my transfer. This is no longer in play, and I'm gonna throw this to the ground. So this goes bye-bye. And I yell, rock, and it falls. Okay, so this is the rad system, but as I approach, Come up, come up. Kind of the same thing here. I don't want, I don't want this to get sucked all the way there because it's hard for me to take it off when it's when there's even a little bit of weight on that. So I want to give myself an inch at least um, to be able to move it up as I take the cam out while it's moving up, so that the teeth don't grip on there. Um, so I'm gonna go a little bit, but I want to be as high as I can on my descender before I do all that. So I want to go up and up. So I'm as high as I can go here. And then this is the easy part, is sliding that up, taking that hand, that cam off, bringing it higher, about there. And I want to choke up a little bit more here, to about right there. I'm going to step up into this, lock my descender off, 
I have an adjustable lanyard, so I'm gonna go as high as I can up here. And when I step up, I'm gonna pull and do a line transfer. Um, maybe those cow's tails, they could do the same thing if they were adjustable, but that's the beauty of the cam having the adjustability here. Now, look at my descender, it's completely slack. I'm still secured on one point, and all I have to do now is just take this out and put it above the knot. Put that through. Close it back up. Okay, so now I continue on and I, I want to transfer back onto my descender by stepping in and then easing out on my lanyard, pulling that slack through and now I can continue on and make progress. Now I've passed that knot on the ascent, just like that. Okay, let's talk about the backup because I'm approaching it. So here's my backup. If I just point over there and say, oh, hey, look guys over there. And they say, what, where? And I just do this and go, oh, nothing. My mistake, I thought I saw something carrying on. They're like, wait, what just happened? Um, is that wrong? Technically, yes, that's wrong. Um, it's my backup, it's my lifeline. I should never take this off without putting something back on above it. Um, if I had two of these ASAPs, it makes it super quick, but I don't. And so in that case, officially, the right answer is put something on there like a press hook. Again, backups go to your sternal. Okay, press it in, reconnect it to my sternal. Now I can, and I pass it, I can leave this press hook on. I don't want to do that because I hate press hooks. Um, I don't hate them, but for a lot of things, they're just, uh, it's a compromise with a press hook. Passing of the knots on the on your backup system is pretty much the same for your uh, for your Texas and your Rad and your Frog, um, which is why I'm only going to show that once. All right, so moving on, backups up there. So before I approach, I need to approach as if I'm doing the Frog. So I need to change over. Oops. So I need to swap my equipment out from Rad to Frog. And so let's see if I can do this. I'm going to step up. And as I step up, this is all slack. You can see what's going on here. Right here. So I'm going to open up my cam on my crawl. Throw the rope in. And now I'm in. Now I wait. And now I'm on my chest descender and ready for the frog system. And now my descender is completely slack. I've effectively made my change over. OK, here we go, froggy. So again, two hands on the uh, ascender that's, that you're making progress with. Uh, same deal, I don't want a lot of space right here. Uh, I'm sorry, I don't want to choke this up. I want like an inch or so, like maybe right, right there. And then I step up, smooth glide through my crawl. So I can step in again and then really get that right up in there, just like that. Now I move my handle descender that's attached to my foot stirrup up, disconnect, Bring it back through here. Reconnect. And again, just like before, I want to go high, 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 and I want to stop just about like an inch right there. Again, with all these tooth cam um, rope grabs, the way they work is the teeth dig in, and in, in order to release, you actually have to go up a little bit in order to get it out. That's why we always want that uh, space. Um, again, these things only count as one point of connection if you, if you limit uh, any slack in your system to uh, a foot or less. I want to go up as high as I can, right about there, choke up. As I step up, um, I'm gonna try to make this motion as fluid as possible. So I'm gonna step up at the same time, release this cam and reconnect it right here. So I, as I step up, the cam releases, I pop it out, keep stepping up, bring it back in, pop the cam back in. And as you can see right there, I'm right back where I was. And I continue the frog ascent. Okay, there are a lot of ways to pass knots. Um, a lot of different gear and material, webbing, uh, prussics, fixed length lanyards, adjustable lanyards, you name it. Um, I'm a fan of adjustability in my system and everything I do. Um, 
from cow's tails, handle descenders, everything. I just want to be able to adjust things um, and make my life a lot easier when I'm on the road. So again, Texas, Rad, and Fra passing knots on ascent.